Chris, tell me about Secret Circle. Being hunting witches down. Now, did you ever in a million years think you'd be hunting witches? I never thought I'd be hunting witches. No, yeah. no, and definitely not on network television. <laughs> is there a secret? <laughs> is there a secret to hunting witches? <laughs> Look for magic. Oh, that's right. But it's magic happens show. everywhere. So how do you know? There could be a witch at Katarina. Cat's here. And you never know who could be a witch around you. Yeah, it, absolutely. <laughs> That's right. And Cat, does she have magical your, powers? Keep your eyes peeled. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so you're here to support Cat Graham, or is it the Water Project, or both? Uh, both. Both. Yeah. But Cat's been Cat's been a dear friend for a long time. We actually studied together in the beginning. Uh, we share the same manager, and we have the same agency. And wait a minute, who, came, who was first? You were her. You guys she was did. first. Yeah. She was first. So you're following in her footsteps. I'm, I'm trying my best. Okay. Big shoe steps, big stiletto steps to to try to fill. Can yeah. you tell us a cat story about the two of you guys? I mean, you guys went to training together. She was inspirational and wonderful from from day one, and it was yeah. nice to it was nice to it was nice to be a newbie coming into a classroom, not knowing much about uh, about the craft, and and having someone like that in in the classroom. That, that was wonderful. That's pretty pretty cool. Yeah. So in secret circle, can you tell us any secrets? Any secrets? Yeah. Um, That's of course what we want to know. There's there's tons of magic, <laughs> and that will continue. But he's under contract. <laughs> okay. It's the, not in 3D. It's the holiday season. So can we ask you, were you naughty or nice this year? Naughty, always. Yeah. And the naughty Sorry, Santa. Naughtiest thing? Yeah. Um, this is a weird thing. Uh, <laughs> hunting witches. <laughs> it, it turned out to not be that great of an idea. <laughs> So Chris, what's your favorite tech toy you can't live without? My favorite tech toy? Yeah. My iPod. Your iPod. Absolutely. What do you like to I do? Need, I, need, I listen to music. Headphones are always in my ear, constantly. constantly. What are your favorite headphones? My favorite headphones? Yeah. What do you I look like, for in headphones? I, I, I love the Beats by Dr. Dre, but they're not, they're very, they're not, they're not convenient enough. Did you hear that, Dr. Dre? They're not convenient enough. Because I have I have them in all the time, and I have them in so much that I'll be on set, and it's nice to take one plug out, have one plug in, so you can tune in to what you're being told and tune into some jams at the same time. Oh, somebody that loves his music. Oh, so much, so much. So, if you were to, who would you love to either work with as an actor or work with? Who's a musician that you admire? Who would you work pick? with? A musician. Um, a, a, if I were able to create music like they were, the Black Keys. The Black Eyed Peas. The Black Keys. The Black Keys. Absolutely, oh. hands down. Why? Hands down. Uh, they're from my hometown. Okay. Uh, so that was kind of an inspiration growing up with and having them be kind of a success story and now definitely a success story. Um, but more. <laughs> More so, their music has an old school feel, and it doesn't feel so produced. A lot of things feel super produced these days. So. Yeah. Well, Chris, if people want to catch up with you on the internet, where's the best place to go? Twitter. Twitter would be the best place to go for sure. And your handle on Twitter? My handle? Yeah, because sometimes you know it's like the real Chris, or you know. You, oh yeah, it's just Chris Zilka at Chris Zilka. Just at and then my name. Perfect. Well, thank you, and happy holidays. Yeah, happy holidays to you, too. We'll see you inside. Thank you. Absolutely. <laughs>